Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and today I'm going to be answering a question from uh, Twitter. This one comes by way of iPhone Bro and uh, he asked a pretty good question. He says, why are people asking for the next iPhone to have a video recorder when a jailbroken iPhone can, re can record and stream video already? So, Mr. iPhone Bro, um, why are people asking for the iPhone to have a, a video recorder when a jailbroken iPhone can do it right now? Well, there's a few issues that um, are, are, are accompany that. So, what he's talking about is that you can now jailbreak your iPhone, which means that you can install unauthorized software from uh, developers out there without going to the iTunes App Store. And by jailbreaking your iPhone, you can install apps like Quick, Ustream to stream live, and you can install Sycorder, which can um, record video. Now, the main reason why I think people are asking for an iPhone video recorder is because I don't think you should have to do that. I don't think you should have to hack your iPhone for this functionality. Uh, with all issues aside, I, I do believe that there are issues with jailbreaking your iPhone. Your iPhone does tend to be a little bit more sluggish when you jailbreak and you install these applications. They, they, it does. Uh, I'm not going to debate that very long, but you know, my iPhone, I, the, the many times I've jailbroken, my iPhone is a little bit more sluggish than it is when I don't jailbreak. So all of that aside, I think Apple should include this by default. And I think if Apple does it, they'll do it right. You know, you'll have hooks into YouTube, you'll have your hooks into mobile me, you'll have things uploaded. Uh, you can easily sync with your desktop instead of installing a whole bunch of stuff. So while it's done now via jailbreaking, it's not done very easily. I know a lot of you who have done it, and I've even done it, think it's easy, but the average iPhone user doesn't. Um, I don't think I would tell my, my mother or you know someone who's not very proficient with an iPhone and say, hey, you can get an iPhone. They're like, well, what if I want to record a video? They're like, oh, you can jailbreak and get Sycord and you can get this game and, and they'll be like, eyes will glaze over and it's not for the average consumer. So I think the iPhone, if they want to be serious about video, Apple has to do it. Um, right now, a lot of people want to stream, but they don't want to jailbreak their iPhone to do it. And with the whole legality of jailbreaking up in the air, I don't think people feel comfortable doing it. I mean, it's not something that you could present to the masses and say, this is a solution for video recording on the iPhone because it's not necessarily true. It's a, it's a workaround and a hack of some sorts that that ties your, that, that basically digs deep down into the iPhone's capability and say, hey, I want to video record whether you, whether you tell me to or not. And, you know, that's my feeling on it, but there's other people who speculate that video recording damages the iPhone. I have no proof of that. I don't even know if they have proof of that, but they claim, they claim, listening, they claim that it does damage to your disc because it does a lot more reads and writes and it will shorten the life of the iPhone. I don't know if that's true. Uh, I don't know. I don't know enough about the subject to even say that, but that's some reasons why people will do that. They're saying that now. So I hope that answers your question, iPhone bro, as to why people want to uh, have an official video recorder rather than having to jailbreak to get a, a streaming app or a, a video recording app via the hacking way or the um, jailbreaking way. All right, this is Wanda from Wanda.tv. Hope I answered your question, iPhone bro. If not, then tough. I, just, I can't do much better than that. All right, take care.